you have to have a reason why you do things. We all sell real estate because it's our job, some of us love it, some of us, it's a means to an end. And that's fine. Agent attraction is another thing. Some of us, it's a means to an end. Some of us, we love it. I love it because I'm a people person. Because every moment that I have, I know that I'm on borrowed time, that I'm 30 years past due. So I want to meet as many people as I can. So how do we do that? Well, first, we have to understand the best way to do that. I'm a systems guy, and as you can probably tell from my story, I really love time and process efficiency because I don't want to spend a single second away from doing things that are going to be either memories, things that I love, or things that are fulfilling to me. So I always tell people about moving the mountain. It's an old parable. You have two people that are tasked with moving a mountain. They're both friendly, they're both nice, so they decide they're gonna walk up the mountain together. One of them, the one on the left, sees this huge boulder. It's up at the top. And they say, I'm gonna move that boulder. The bigger rock I push on, the faster I'm gonna move the mountain. The person on the right says, well, I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna go up and, great, you're gonna move that big boulder. So they journey all the way to the top of the mountain. And that person on the left walks up. Ah! He's straining against this huge rock. He's exhausting himself. He's pushing his limits. What doesn't move? The boulder. And that's okay. He says, I'm going to take a short break, and then I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to move that big rock. It's a big rock in my life. It's a big rock on this mountain. I'm going to move the mountain. The person on the right picks up a handful of sand, starts walking down the mountain. At that point, the person that was pushing against the boulder says, what are you doing? What? Like, you're never going to move the mountain by playing in the dirt. Here, help me push this boulder. We got to move the mountain. The person on the right says, no, it's OK. Takes that handful of sand and walks down to the bottom of the mountain. He walks it over to where they were tasked to move the mountain. And then he starts walking back up again. And did that every single day. And eventually, years went by. That person on the left was still straining against that one big rock. But that person on the right that took a handful of sand every single day, they moved that mountain because they understood that small, measured steps eventually lead to progress. So I use the friendly neighbor method. My time is precious. Why not make it where everything that we do is systematized? Why not make it where you can have the time to show your clients to continue to grow our amazing company, to show people this wonderful platform, to spend time with your family, and to have it all. Agent attraction is a marathon. So my whole system is based around being a friendly neighbor. The thing about this system is it's based on having quality lead flow and having a pipeline. Everybody wants a big pipeline, right? Good. To have a big pipeline, we have to do certain things. We have to stop saying that you are in a relationship business and then only treating other agents transactionally. I'm going to say that one more time because it's important and I want everybody to really listen this time. You are telling the world you are in a relationship business and then you are treating your colleagues transactionally. Shame on you. You have to build a pipeline. When we're talking about production, what do we always say? The only way to have a pipeline is to meet new people. How do we get to this? Well, it's actually really simple. We're going to be that great neighbor that everybody wants us to be. 
we're going to, when we see that they sold, we're going to give them a call, and it's the greatest script ever. Hey, Joe, I saw you sold 123 Main Street. I just wanted to say congratulations and spread some positivity. My name's Joe. I'm a realtor based out of Boston. And then you pause, and you do the thing that realtors hate to do. You stop talking. And here's the thing. In that script, I didn't say I was with EXP. I didn't say you should watch a video. I didn't say come to my lunch and learn. I didn't say your company's terrible. I didn't say I have the best thing ever, because it's not about me. It's about starting a relationship with you. Now, if you do five agents, five days a week, 52, that's 1,300 a year. Now, if you do 10 agents, and you spend 40 minutes, and you get to meet 2,600 FLQAs, you think a couple might want to come to EXP at some point? Yeah. Do you think you might be popular? You think you might get a hashtag like everybody knows Joe? You think you might get a couple agent-to-agent -agent referrals? Because let me guess, between Dallas and Fort Worth, there's a little bit of traffic, and maybe agents in Dallas don't want to drive here. Maybe if you're nice to them, they might want to send you a referral. Maybe. So here it is. So if you're doing this and you're consistent, that's 13 FLQAs with 1% conversion per year. And you know that they're FLQAs how? They did a transaction. That's how you got to meet them. So the question is, y'all stood up and said you're better than 1% conversion. 2% would be 26. And that's a pretty nice number when we're talking about agent attraction, right? Some good numbers. And then, God forbid, one of them might be a team owner and bring a couple other people too. Now, if you're doing 3%, that's pretty close to the golden standard of EXP agent attraction. That's in one year, 39 FLQAs. Not a lot of people in the company have that. Now, why do I always say that this is a marathon and not a sprint? Because it's not going to be day one. You are just starting that relationship. Because at the end of the day, our time is very limited. So we need systems, we need to be efficient, and we need to be effective. The only way for me to scale at a growth rate in which I want to is to cheat the system, cheat the numbers, and make sure that I am maximizing every opportunity that I have.